Hi, this video is inspired by a message that I got from a lady who said she wanted to come along to one of my spiritual talks and she couldn't make it and she said she was really disappointed that she couldn't make it. She's very curious because she's seen my photography work and she's very curious to meet the woman behind the lens. And I thought, wow, what a great title for a video. So. I'm really staying true to myself and I'm just gonna drop in the odd mixed video, just sharing some other things that I do other than photography, other things that I'm passionate about. So I really hope you enjoy this little bit of a mixture and I would love some feedback. And I just wanted to share a little bit of um, my spiritual journey really and what that looks like, like for real because I think it's really easy to see the magic people talking about spiritual connection and you see the magic side but I just want to be a little bit real about it for me and what that's actually looked like. So for myself I've been through a lot of um, fear, PTSD in the past few months, a lot of grief um, and sadness and all of that horrible stuff and I'm starting to really tap into the world of vibrational frequency to help lift me energetically out of those places because you can do a lot of um, compassion-based therapy and you can get your mind quite well but if your energy is still low um, there's so many things that we can do to help ourselves lift up energetically. Yeah, so moving away energetically from these low vibrational states is really takes you up into that place of spiritual magic which is just an incredible place to be. Mm -hmm. I feel like, like I said, reaching those high places is more about letting go of things that don't serve you to, to allow you to rise up. I'm just going to kind of read some out. So one of the things that's low vibrational, I feel is very low vibrational, is alcohol. So, um, but it's a very easy trap to get into if you're feeling very anxious, you know, I'd have a glass of red wine and I'd feel a little bit relaxed and so then it starts to become a habit. And of course there's kind of, there's two aspects of releasing addictions, there's like the, the habit and there's actually energetically leaving that space. There's, you wouldn't learn to walk and then go back to crawling. Right? So it's as easy as that to not go back is when you leave it energetically. I've experienced this myself. When I've been in a really good place and I've risen above the energy of alcohol, it's just not on my radar anymore and I just don't want it. And, and I think that when I start wanting to reach for alcohol, that's my signal that I've dipped down into these lower realms and I'm trying to find an escape and I'm on the same vibrational frequency as alcohol, so that feels like my escape. I've put world news on here as well, as like a low vibrational thing. I think you very, it's very rare that you listen to the news and feel uplifted. Um, so unforgiveness, blame, sugar addiction, old stories, overthinking. Also the quality of the water you drink is really good one to just bear in mind they put a lot of bleach and things in the water and I feel like if you if you cleanse your water some people even do rituals but if you filter it you can raise the vibration of the water and of course we are was it 70% water or something? Yeah. so um, so exercise getting up there um, so I've put release trauma and limiting beliefs, junk food, low vibe. I mean, sometimes you just got to have some junk food, haven't you? But on the whole, I've definitely cleaned up my eating habits and I really think of food on the vibrational frequency. You know, homegrown veg, organic veg is so such a high vibrational frequency food to eat. And if you imagine that everything you're putting in you is high vibe, it's going to lift you up. Uh, music's a really big one for me. Probably the biggest thing that I've found for raising my vibration, like if I want to do it quickly now on a day-to-day -day basis, is gratitude. I practice gratitude on a daily basis just for the smallest of things, 
and it really helps me to focus away from the negatives, the things that I don't want. It's good to see them just to recognise what I do want. Positive relationships and connections, being outdoors, helping others, having a purpose, toxin-free, positive self-talk, affirma affirmations, cleansing your body, visualisation. Yeah. For me, there's no <clears throat> nothing higher than love. For me, I'm fine with the word God, and God is love, and that is the ultimate divine source of energy, and it is pure love. And when you can tap into that energy, like you have that holiday feeling, you can be just floating on air, and an ordinary day can really be infused with absolute magic. Okay, thank you. Oh.